Chapter 8. The Big Wave. Run, Annie! Jack screamed. The water drew away from the beach, and a loud hissing sound came from the sea. Suddenly, fish flopped on the bare sand. Annie threw down her board and ran. She grabbed Jack's hand as she ran by him. Jack grabbed Bo- Boca's hand, and Boca grabbed Kama's hand. They all ran together, pulling each other along as they raced to the cliff. Boca and Kama ran up the cliff path. Jack and Annie grabbed their shoes and Jack's pack. Then they scrambled up the path, too. At the top of the cliff, everyone looked back. <clears throat> Jack couldn't believe his eyes. A wave was rising up like a dark mountain of water. It gave surging, or it came surging toward the shore, growing even taller. Wow, whispered Annie. Get back, shouted Boca. The four of them bolted back from the edge of the rocky slope. The mountain of water crashed against the cliff. Water sprayed over the top of the rocks and rained down on them. When the water rolled back over the cliff, they all hurried back to the edge to see what had happened. The rocky cliff path was gone. The gigantic wave was moving back out to sea, taking rocks, sand, seaweed, seashells, and the surfboards with it. Scary, breathed Annie. Yeah, said Jack. We just made it. Boca! Kama! Voices yelled. They turned around. Jack saw Boca and Kama's parents racing across the meadow toward them. Other villagers followed. The two Hawaiian kids ran into their parents' arms. Soon Jack and Annie were surrounded by villagers. Everyone was laughing and crying and hugging each other. Jack hugged Annie. He hugged Kama and Boca and their parents and lots of other people he didn't even know.